So even when you're going after your target audience, you gotta know them. You gotta do some research about them. And you go online usually and check out quite a few things, but a lot of what's missing in this industry, I find, again, is an appreciation for movement mechanics so you can apply safe principles or practices to those movement mechanics or introduce forms of resistance that are within the realms or parameters that they've currently met, right? Again, if you're taking that approach, if you're writing a business proposal, you could write out some of the problems that they could be having. Like if you go out for an office company, what are they gonna have? Tight backs, hamstrings, you know, yeah, tight exactly. hamstrings. Yes. They're gonna have brain fog. People are gaining weight. You have to make a mention of what those things cause, health-wise. Right? Like if you look at my business proposal that I'll show you, uh, it can cause respiratory issues, they get sick a lot, they have energy, they miss work. What are some of the strategies that you can apply to help their company? Right? Like what could you do specifically? And then you can answer those questions for them within that business proposal. So and then your business's yes. resume. Right, exactly. And then at the end of that, then you would introduce some rates and maybe some incentives to hop on with you guys. Maybe there's a group competition at the end of the month you give out a prize for the most, you know, successful person or participant or a smaller team of those participants. Mm. You can do things like that that'll incentivize them to keep coming back. Right. And because it's a group you know, setting, an office setting or something like that, you make it really cheap and accessible and you go meet them. You can even do it in their office. Right. Then they don't have to leave work and they get to see firsthand, you know, what you can give awesome. to them. Yeah, so that's that's something that I would definitely suggest. So definitely. that's part of your target audience. Looking do some research on them, find out what their current health issues are because you're taking more of a scientific route and apply those strategies while writing out, you know, the actual proposal as a whole. Definitely, that's yeah. paramount. Definitely, bro. yeah. So better strategy to look at it. Yeah. When it comes to marketing, especially. Then you're not guessing, right? Yeah. I'm just not making a generalization. Yeah. Of marketing strategies. Yes. Just show a buff guy, like, well, so not everybody wants to be this buff right. guy. What if I just I target my market was just women? Right. They're not looking to get buff. Right. So why would we talk about? Yeah, we can make you get the six pack abs and ripped arms when you're in well where else could I change that conversation and be in control and really lead the conversation into why they would want to work with you somebody wants to be buff but their movement can't mechanics suck and they're tight and they're restricted right, and right. I would change the conversation in my favor by simply saying we can get you there but until we have an appreciation for this now I have to kind of give them the what-if strategy I can't necessarily promise them all this stuff I have to kind of scare them a bit I have to be yeah, like hey we can get big and buff, but right now your shoulder's messed up and your hip's not working right. And when we go to introduce resistance, there's a good possibility of a setback. You may hurt your shoulder or you may, you know, strain something or rip something. And then that's going to set you back even further. Now you have to go employ, uh, you know, some type of modality. Maybe, maybe it's physiotherapy or a chiropractor or a combination of those things, massage like therapy. The, like the most guys would, they, most guys just watch football, right? right. The biggest, the best example I would do is Tom Brady. You know, he right. doesn't even use weights. Yeah, he doesn't, no. It's all about movement strategy, right? And he eats really clean. And right? he eats really clean. And yeah. then I would say, yeah, you guys may get big and buff, but do you know that the average running back does not walk past yeah. 70 years old? Well, it's all about pliability, right? right? And dexterity of your movements. If you can create the same movement without causing any type of negative feedback, say that's uh, pain, uh, shortness of movement, right. kind of like a pulling, mechanism or a pulling feedback into that you know muscle body or that specific area that you're feeling that and that continues that's eventually going to turn into a bad injury there you go. so if you can have that on top of uh you know building that power then you're on the right direction but right. if you're having power built and Without you knowing. and that's still a feedback of that training mechanism or that training style you need to dial it back that's what periodization is about right you have to investigate it's all about investigation and definitely i think long-term health and wellness comes around pliability and dexterity because if you can move better than the next person you can recreate that movement with efficiency on the hop all the single time like all the time you're not gonna get hurt exactly right some of the best of the best didn't really lift weights if we're gonna go back to football as a right. reference right like uh, jerry rice didn't really lift weights he ran a lot walter payton ran a lot Tom Brady's a prime example. Mind you, he's a quarterback, so he doesn't have to be massive. But right. it's still relative to what he wanted to accomplish, and he took that scientific route, and that's what's important. And Got you it. can apply that to your strategy when you're you know, proposing to people. If you don't educate them at first, and that's the niche you're actually representing, you have a disconnect. 
Whereas if you're representing the same type of niche that I would, which is the corrective exercise strategy, the healthy living, the long-term health and wellness, the ability to save money in the long run by learning these strategies about your body, be able to investigate uh, you know, issues that could be present and the right cycle of strategies to go towards those things that you can do on your own. If you are kind of preaching that, but then you bypass it, that's a disconnect. And that can get you, not in trouble, but you won't get the same results you're looking for. Got it. Yeah. All right. It was great talking. Yeah, I'm on.